Hello, hello, Mana here, and welcome back to the last Chronomancer. Picking up where we left off here on the ship, uh, which I believe is Captain by Don, I think that was his name. Uh, but yeah, so last time we made our way through Westfall, explored about the town. Uh, we stopped in at Fallfell for a quick bite to eat. Uh, of course, we met up with Voss, the uh, Voss, yeah. How was I saying that? I think it was Voss. <laughs> uh, yes, who is apparently the Slave King, so that's pretty substantial. Not really sure where that's going to go or whatever, but he is the reason we have this boat, so that's at least a good start, I figure. And, uh, yeah, we're just making our way to Goldmill, so... I don't know, I guess we'll just have a little chat with everyone around the ship, see what's going on. Um, one thing I just randomly... Did I equip that other ring that we got? I can't remember if I did or not. Uh, you know what, Keegan? You can have it if we did. Uh, no, we may have already done it. Uh... Oh, I gave it to you, did I? And I assume Dairy has the other one? Okay, that makes sense. Oh, right, I must have given it to Raven, because she has the least health. That was probably why. Something like that. Yeah, alright. All good there. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just uh, chat around, see what's going on. Nolan, eh? Greetings, my name is Nolan. I've been with Captain Don for many years now. He's a good captain and always treated me well. And it is Don, okay. I gotta remember if that was like, if there was another name, or if it was just Don, or... Yeah, okay, I got it right for now. Please stay on deck until we reach Gold Mill. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know where else we'd go, but... You know, sure. Fair enough. Uh, Alright, Captain's up there. How you doing, Bolts? My name is Bolts. I've been the engineer on this ship for years. Even though I'm a goblin, Captain Don hired me and gave me a chance. Most humans treat goblins like crap. Captain Don is one of the good ones. Ah, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Please stay on deck until you reach Gold Mill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that before. Not that I know where else I can go. I mean, I guess under the deck? Or just jump over the ship, side of the ship? That's fine. Check the barrels, gotta do that. Steal a cannonball, perhaps? No? Alright, fine. Wait, barrel? No? Maybe? Maybe? Yes? No? Something? Come on. Alright. How you doing, Don? Ah, a glass of Moorish red wine, and the sea air is all I need. Many thanks again for the escort to Westfall. Out of Westfall. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> You're very welcome. So I assume you folks are in some deep waters. That's one way of putting it, indeed. <laughs> they think we killed Commander Gregor when we are in Pentan, but we didn't. It's a lie. Hush, young one. Soon the Sky God's wisdom will prevail, and we'll be able to return. Shouldn't we wait at Goldmill until Shay comes and tells us where the next stone is? Yes, we should. I don't know the location of the next stone. I thought you knew everything about the prophecy. I have faith that I am on the correct path and that the next chapter will be revealed soon. We shall find the next stone together. Speak for yourself. I'll be leaving as soon as I can. I've had enough of that witch and her wild tales. Oh, okay. That's... Okay. I guess he's not all on board with it then. <laughs> well, before you all go running off in separate directions, let me find out what the situation is like in Pentam. For all we know... Do you hear that? I do not. I did hear that. Pirate ship, starboard side. Get over here and give me a hand. Alright. Blasted pirates. Let's show them who's boss. I'll load up the cannon, you fire when the shot is lined up. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, I, I tried to. Did I? There we go. Boom. Too easy. And boom. And another one. Oh, I'm a pro cannoneer. Cannoneer? Is that a, is that a word? Sure it is. Nice shooting. Thank you. I agree. Take that, you pirate scum. <laughs> they are trying to board us. They are coming up over every side of the ship. Everyone split up. Nolan, Clyde, help them out. You got it, Captain. Alright. Who's trying to mess with us? Oh, look, <laughs> look at the little boat. <laughs> Hand over your loot. Yeah, no thanks. Ack, help me. Don't worry, little guy, we got this. Yeah, we're good. I think we can manage. Uh, what do we got here? Sting. Eat some poison, please. Very good. Uh, oh, shield toss. Right, we have uh, we have Tulsa here. Very good. Love the shield toss. Uh, what have you got, Johan? Uh, remove all ailments. Cast a holy spell. Sure, eat some holy spell. Not sure if that's delicious or not, but... Does damage. Very good. Uh, yes, Tulsa. Tank it up. I know you can take it. Very good. She's tough, that one. Uh, you can also eat some poison if you wouldn't mind. I do like me some poison attacks. And shield it up, Tulsa. Smack him. 
Ooh, very good. Oh, almost knocked two out in one. Close. Ah, how do you go for a normal hit, Johan? Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> very good, actually. Uh, try and steal something, why not? Oh, what? Oh. I didn't, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I guess I'll try that again next if we don't kill this guy. Oh, Tulsa, Smackdown. Tanking the hits and doing like the most damage. Very nice. Uh, cool, cool. Oh, aura protection, all right, cool. Gotta remember about the auras. An orc, disgusting. I mean, you're gonna like, you know, don't look so healthy yourself, so I think the orc's doing a little bit better, but sure. Pirate scum, get off our ship. I and mean, look at that guy, he looks like he's on some sort of drugs. Or a mix of half dying and drugs. Or his voice is all ripped, so, you know, I think he's doing okay for himself. Uh, oh, we're, we're controlling one of our, uh, someone who isn't in our group, okay. Sure, throw something, Clyde. Oh, shit, Clyde's tough, all right. Uh, oh, right, boss, all right, what do you, what do you got going on? You gonna uppercut the shit out of them? Very good. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I have to get used to that being a thing, apparently. I don't know if I just forgot that that was a thing, or... Oh, go Raven. Gotta, I love Raven and Tulsa. If, if Dairy gets like a, a, um, a volley attack and all three of them can do something like that, I'll be very happy. Oh shit, didn't mean to defend that, that's fine. I was used to hitting one down to go to special. Uh, yep, yeah, Vols just punched the shit out of him, if you wouldn't mind, please. Oh right, crap. I already forgot about that. I don't know if, I wonder if like the damage is impacted by that or if you just fail if you don't do it. Uh, yeah, magic missile the shit out of them if you wouldn't please. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, just throw. You're pretty great actually, Clark. Ah, oh, come on. I was just talking you up. Disappointing. Oh, nice. Okay. Morse's normal attack is pretty sweet too. Wait, Clyde's getting XP? Okay. A little bit confused. <laughs> Uh, okay, we actually got a few things there. Nice. Aura magic? Cool. Just hand over the goods and we'll let you live. Oh, are these like, um... Oh, I can't remember their name. From the very start of the game. The, the ones who were attacking, who had the black armor and stuff. Ah, oh, I can't remember, I can't remember the, the name. But yeah, is that them? Because they had like red eyes on that, right? They look like they seriously need some sleep. Just hand over the goods and we'll let you live. You made a grave mistake trying to attack us. It's the last mistake you'll ever made. Make. Yeah, fuck him up, Nolan. <laughs> Shut up, you cur. This one looks heavily armored. Leave it to me. My pierce attack will cut right through that armor. Sounds good to me. Oh yeah, we control the Nolan here too. All right. Um, Dairy, just shoot the shit out of this guy if you would, please. Ooh, that's that wasn't great, Dairy, but I, I know you're better than that. That's all right. Uh. Oh yeah, I guess the pierce. Wait, she, right. They just said about his armor, so... Right, forgot about that. Don't mind me. Arrows do not do well against armor, I suppose. Uh... I don't think we really need to do that. Just go, go straight at the captain. Maybe his men will fumble after that. Well, probably not, but... It would make sense. Oof. Barry took quite the hit there. Uh, how do you, how do you use your armor feel about water, then? Good? Oh, shit. Okay. Dairy, come on. I know you're better than that. Alright, go for it. Here's the shit out of him. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, Keegan, you're up. Smack him. Or slash the shit out of him. Either way works. Oh, Dairy. Alright, Dairy, your time to shine. Shoot the shit out of this guy. There we go. That's better. And pierce this guy who has no armor. Oh, it's still good, still good. And Keegan, dispatch. There we go, very nice. Oh, and they leveled up, and, and again, Nolan also got XP, that's weird. I don't know if there's a reason for that. But sure, why not? Well done everyone, now that is over with, I can get back to this fine glass of wine. Indeed. I'm not sure why, why wine is capitalized, but enjoy. Oh, oh, okay. Uh... Wait, what? Did it change the... Uh, I'm not... I'm, I'm confused what just happened. Why has the party changed? Uh... Because Voss wasn't in our party. We, we had Tulsa. I want Voss in the party. I mean, I like them all, to be honest, but... You know. 
uh, also dairy up front. Now, I don't know why it's changed here. Because it happened before when there was that fight thing. But I'm not sure why it's doing it here unless we're about to start another fight or... Ah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Not, not, not a big deal, I'm just confused as the actual reason in this case. Um, yeah. But yeah, saying, like, I really like them all, so it's like, because I'd like, a Jet's probably like, least favorite, I guess. And that's, and that's saying when I like them all, so it's not, you know. Um, but yeah, I'd like to have jo uh, Johan and Voss in the party, really, but, you know. Ke Keegan's our buddy for like four years, and Tulsa and Raven are great, plus cute, so, you know. But they sort of win in that regard. <laughs> anyway, that, that's my logic to it. Oop, did that actually save? Okay, it did, because I, I hit egg, I hit back instead of uh, confirm, whatever that was. Anyway, let's save that. Very good. Oh, we're all level 7 now, are we? Except for, yeah, I guess that's, yeah. I, I wish the EXP was even. I do worry that it's going to be like... I mean, probably not within the Chapter 1 slash demo is it going to be a big deal, but... I gotta imagine myself playing something like this and it's like halfway through the game, these guys, like the main part is just miles ahead sort of thing. Uh, but can we go back then? Oh, we can. Because I missed something here. And I don't know, I assume we'll be able to get it. I couldn't believe I missed this, by the way. Like, eh, I, I just, yeah. We're, we're all around the back here trying to find secrets and I missed the most obvious one. You can go into this building. <laughs> couldn't believe that. I see the glimmer of hope in your eyes. Here, take this. I hope it helps you in your journey to come. Copper staff. Awesome. And I think, uh, I think there was also, if I recall, uh, I was told about this directly by Gould slash Gold. I, I really wish I knew how to pronounce, I mean, I guess it's not your real name, but the, the developer's name, who I, Gould Gold or Gold Gould. I just say them both. That's what I usually do when I say lever and lever. <laughs> it, it works. Um, Yes, when I was told about it though, I thought it was sort of like, I wouldn't be able to get them, but uh, since I can go back, I'm taking advantage of it. Uh, I don't remember if it was in... Uh, where was the other one? Um, I missed going upstairs somewhere. Oh, I think I know, I think I know. Yeah, I, I, I missed going upstairs. Uh, can we go back here? That's the question, I guess. Can we just enter town? Okay, we can. Yeah, so I, I completely missed some stairs in the keep, apparently. <laughs> so, there's that. Oh, you bitch, of course it's locked. Ah, and I can get back here, but I can't do that. Ah. Oh. Okay, fair enough, though. Can we... Nope, okay. Uh, I feel like there was something else, but I don't remember, so... I guess that's fine. Because I think, um... Well, I'd already missed part... There was something in, uh... Wait, what? Is that the... Is that where we came from? Oh, no. I was confused. Wait, why does it show like it's a cave? Hmm. Okay, not really sure on that. Uh, but I think, yeah, the cave that we come out from originally, there was a... a hidden area there which had another one of those anti-venom rings. And I missed another one of them, because there is... you can get a whole set of them. I don't remember where the other one was, though. Uh... Because I know we missed it, but I don't know if it was further back or not. If it's one of these areas, we could get it, and it kind of probably is worth it, actually. Hmm. Trying to rack my brain. No, 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 no. Right. <laughs> I can't think. Ah. Give me a second. Why not? Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was, I couldn't remember if it was only one that was in that tunnel, like where we um, originally met Vos, I mean. Because remember that little area, if you recall, there was like a bit down the bottom, and I wasn't sure if we were meant to see it or something. Uh, yeah, there was apparently uh, an actual way to get there, so... Yeah, there, there is that. But I think there was also another one in there, so I don't think we can get back there right now, unfortunately. Not, not a big deal, but, you know, I didn't want to miss them if we could get them, so... Uh, we did get some sort of weapon just then that I didn't pay as much attention to as should have. I think it was... was it Fideri? Was it a crossbow? I don't know if that we got... Uh, either way, let's uh, quickly go through these anyway. Uh, at least for the main peoples here. Mithril Blade, I assume, is probably still the best, eh? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, what about a new mace for you? Uh, I don't know what's best for her. We'll stick with that. It's fine. Maybe a staff upgrade, perhaps? Oh, nice. There is. Very nice. Okay. Um, I assume we didn't get any better shield. No, definitely, uh... To give her a sword, but I don't know. I, I like her having a mace for some reason. <laughs> and we didn't have any other relics, did we? And, you know, that's fine. 
Any armor or anything? No, I think we, we covered that, didn't we? Just double checking. Okay, that's all good. And yeah, we'll stick with uh, Dairy and Raven having the anti-poison rings. That'll be good. And good idea. Okay, I muted the microphone for a second, just making sure that's on. All good, let's go. Uh, anything we want to pop out for? Probably not. Oh, damn it. A big looking place. I assume that's gold meal. What the hell are we fighting here? Oh, it's an orc. Sorry, boss. <laughs> I mean, I, I just feel like I haven't, have we seen orcs before? I don't know if like, why are we just killing it? Like, boss is friendly. Is this just a random bandit orc or? All right, hopefully you don't know them, boss. I, I don't know how common orcs are in this world, so I felt the need to apologize. Well, they did attack us, so maybe not. Anyway, alrighty. Let's see what's going on down at this kind of insane looking place. Uh, is there anywhere else we can go? Doesn't look like it. Okay, this place looks dangerous. Can we, like, dock here? I don't know why I'm even trying it, but I feel the need to. Hello, slimes. Eat some shield if you would, please. That'd be very nice. Oh man, they actually have a bit of health, hey. Oh, I didn't realize, okay, Dairy got, okay, Dairy's like getting more and more awesome. Like she's getting more elemental stuff. She can heal, plus she's got bow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more and more happy that I actually chose her, even though I it was sort of an indirect choice. No, no, she's very awesome. Uh, yep, dispatch it up. Wait, why couldn't I use the sweeping one? Hmm, is that a different type of sword? Ooh, I love how that looks too. Oh, and they're weak to it. Very nice. Uh, defend, please, because I want to check Keegan. You too, Dairy, if you would. Uh, okay. Apparently everyone. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, what was, uh, why can't I use this? Oh, it requires one hand weapon. Okay, because, I mean, I went back to this because, I went back to the two hand because of Dispatch, but... Uh, that's kind of awkward having a tech, like, because that is that, right? That was the, the broadsword requires there. I don't know, I think that's, is that meant to be displaying a, a picture? Because it says like 1H weapon, but I'm pretty sure it should be showing a picture like that would. Uh, either way though, it, sort of, it seems sort of awkward having only two attacks with any different sword types. I mean, not a big deal, just, it just makes me not know what I should choose. Uh, I guess we're, we're fine for now anyway, not, not having too many uh, struggles with combat. Uh, can I? It's probably unintended, but I'm curious if I can get away with somehow docking. Okay, we can't, that's fine. Uh, how you doing, boats? Alright, let's just get on land. Can we steal this boat? It looks fancier than ours. Alright. Gold mill docks. Alright, listen up. I'm going to get in touch with some of my contacts and find out what is going on in Pentam. In the meantime, feel free to explore the city. Gold mill is a hell of a town. There is some amazing food, fine wine, and a great market. Well, I'm definitely going to the market. Raven and Dairy have already told me they would like to accompany me. I think I'll be making my way over to the pub. My lips are parched and I'm sure there are plenty of lovely ladies there who want to see me. Uh, there might be some lovely ladies. I'm not sure if they want to see you, but I appreciate your confidence. I like the sound of that. I'm coming too. <laughs> yeah, Alright, go for it, Nolan. And I think I'll come along as well to make sure you two don't draw too much attention. Yeah, Ke Ke Keegan knows what's up. <laughs> Keegan, don't you trust me by now? I don't think trust is the issue. <laughs> not when it comes to fair maidens. Ah. Boss, it might be better if you stay on the Mosquito. Orcs often raid gold mills, mine, and lumber mill. People here are... Uh, people here are keen on picking fights with orcs. I appreciate the sentiment, Don, but I did not gain my freedom to stay caged somewhere else. Besides, the prophecy... Yeah, yeah, enough of that. <laughs> alright, everyone, keep a low profile and try to meet up here by sundown. Actually, Captain, would it be alright if I treated our guests to dinner tonight? Uh, right, sorry, Clyde. I forgot that gold mill is your hometown. What did you have in mind? Well, I was thinking my old pub in the north end of town. It's called the Rose and Chain, and they make the best lobster in Etheris. I could go for some buttered lobster. I'll bring the other ladies there once uh, once we have finished our shopping. We'll be there as well. T uh, thank you, Clyde, for your kind hospitality. It's my pleasure. I'll see you all later. All right, cool. My ladies, our next step, the marketplace. <laughs> okay. So I guess, uh, did, was it just coincidence that they are all, I mean, probably. No, it would be. I was say it was just coincidence that these all happen to be in our party, but I assume who you actually lead with is based on, you know, like if one of our, uh, if our main was Dairy, Tulsa, or Raven, I assume this would be the same. And yeah, like that. Anyway. 
One day I'll catch the big one. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. All right, gold mill, very nice. Um, let's get a save down just real quick. I assume probably going to that place uh, was it the something something? <laughs> God damn it, I don't remember already. But that pub, I assume going there will probably progress the story. So we'll try and go there last. Lock day. Eh? All right. Barrel, barrel. All right. How, how are you guys doing? Captain Don is originally from the Jade Kingdom, but it's been years since we've been over there. I see, I see. How about you? How you doing, Bolts? Have fun in the city. Don't do anything too stupid. Hopefully I can get my duties done soon so I can enjoy Gold Mill as well. Well, that would be good. This city is big. Enjoy yourselves, but keep a low profile. Will do, will do. Alright. Let's see what we got going on around here. Hello. I like big boats. Cool. Me too, me too. We've got to get this next shipment ready. Indeed, indeed. Uh, can we steal some fish? No? Alright, fair enough. Let's see what's going on in Gold Mill. It looked like a pretty epic kind of place. Welcome to Gold Mill. We are the capital city of the Western Kingdom, and we serve Queen Elianus the Noah. I think that's how I was saying it last time. Selling oysters all day is hard work. Uh, shocking hard work it is. The sigil of Gold Mill is a gold shield on a black and gold background. Such an intricate design for such a glorious city. For sure, for sure. Gold Mill is wealthy for many reasons. The fact that it's right beside one of the biggest gold mines in Ethros is an obvious one. Yeah, that'll do it. How you doing, uh, animal? Gold Mill beasts are... Oh, Gold Mill boasts an incredible navy. We maintain peace and order over the western coast. Because of this, it is often referred to as the Gold Coast. Alright, alright. Good stuff. Barrel. Uh, okay, we've got an inn. Hello. All of the wealthy citizens of Gold Mill live north of the canals. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, did we talk to you? Yes, we did. Gold Hill boasts an incredible navy. We maintain peace and order over the western coast. Because of this, it is often referred to as the Gold Coast. I don't know why I read it again after recognizing that I just read it, but, you know, that's fine. Most people in Gold Mill worship the Sea God. Our faith is one of the two branches of the Elven faith. The other branch is that of the God Below, which is what the Undergrounders worship. Up ahead is the majestic Gold Mill Colossus. The statue is over 70 feet tall and the shield is covered in real gold. They say that it was based on the likeness of the immortal Grey King. Hmm, okay. The Western Kingdom is the best. The North and Middle Kingdoms are ruled by warmongers. The Southern Kingdom is currently in a civil war. And the Jade and Crystal Kingdoms still practice slavery. It sure does feel good to live here. Long live Queen Thanoa. Indeed. Alright, interesting stuff. The Gold Mill Navy is unstoppable. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Can we, uh... Halt, the Colossus is under repair at this time. Okay. Did we talk to you? Yeah, we did. Uh, I guess we can't talk to the boat people. Alright, I guess we'll just keep going along here for now. Uh, yes, that you're the unstoppable guy. I'm a Goldhurst nice. Taste my blade. Uh, Goldhurst. My, my Stonehold armor is invincible. Please help me. My family were killed by orcs and I just need some cash money to get back on my feet. Sure, have some money. I don't care. We've got plenty. And, and, you know, you say suckers, but you honestly don't look so good, so... You know. May the sea god take your miserable souls. That's fine. You know, maybe you'll find a little bit of happiness with that cash money. Did you ever hear the tale of the lost lover? I did not. The story is about a misunderstood couple. Their love was forbidden, so they had to see each other in secret. One day someone caught the lovers. They were separated and were never able to see each other again. Both lovers cried a million tears. Their hearts never mended. One day the maiden died and her lover went to visit her gravestone. The surviving lover finally felt joy, for that gravestone meant more than all of the cash money or gems in Etheros. It's kind of depressing, but sure. Uh, I cannot talk to you, okay. Uh, and more boat people, fair enough. Nice little fountain. Pretty big area so far. Um, okay, with the market. You know, I might just uh, keep popping saves down because I don't want to advance the story before we cover everything. Uh, hello. Long live the Queen. Indeed. Well, so far, I don't know if she's actually good or not. <laughs> halt right there. You are not permitted entry into the Eastern Road. Halt right there. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Two people saying the same thing. Oh, hello. Most people here look down upon orcs, but I'm the exception. I'm even one of the wealthiest merchants in all of Goldmill. Oh, good for you, man. Good for you. 
Politically, Goldmill is quite stable. Even the Middle Kingdom has the city of Falcon Vale that seeks to secede. I'm from the capital city of the Crystal Kingdom. I travelled all the way to see Goldmill because I was told how beautiful it is. But this is a disappointment. The Crystal Castle is far more beautiful. I think I'll be making my way home. Uh, I don't know why beautiful is capitalised there, but... Good to hear from you. Hello. I'm sorry, but this weapon store is reserved for exclusive members. Ah, I see how it is. Oi, what do you, what do you think you're doing? I need to use that staircase, buddy. And you're slow as shit. What do you think? You Come on. Do you really need to walk like one step at a time? Not that hard to handle stairs. And now you're on the bench. God, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Well, hello. When I watch the waterfalls for long enough, I feel like the sea god is whispering something to me. I can't quite make it out though. As long as it's nothing dangerous, I guess that's good. I've already spoken with the pub owner and they are making preparations for our dinner tonight. Oh good, they didn't advance the story. The shade of death hangs over you, O oh cursed one. The only remedy is sacrifice. Well, that's what I want to hear before dinner. Come on. I guess maybe the market could progress us, so... We'll see. We'll just talk to everybody outside, then we'll go for the buildings. May the sea god guide your souls. Sure, why not? Hi there. I'm going to the Rose and Chain later for some of their famous lobster. Me too, actually. Park donor by the Rose and Chain Society. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Oh, hello. Alright, Jet's not in a very talkative move. Often we are too innocent to see what is right before our eyes. Alright, cryptic and not talkative. Fair enough. What are we down here? I don't know where I am. I think we're... Yeah, this is a pretty big place. Oh, it's uh, Homeless Johan. I used to be a miner for many years. Recently, though, the orcs have become more violent during their raids. Yeah, violence capitalized there too. I'm not sure if there's a reason for some of the capitalization. I lost so many co-workers and friends. I can never go back there. Never. Well, hopefully you figure yourself out, buddy. I guess this is the uh, the peasant store then, not the exclusive member store. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my armor shop. Sure, how you doing? I don't think we... Ah, okay, it's all pretty cheap, but I think we've already got better stuff anyway, don't we? Because we've got Mithril. Mm, yeah, I don't think any of this is actually better for us, is it? Yeah, we, we already got better stuff, but thanks for showing. Welcome to my weapon shop. And, yeah, it's just standard stuff, apparently. Alright. What do we got going on down here? Anything we can loot? Hello. Okay, no talking. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, oh, is that, that's water, okay. Is there some way we can talk to this gentleman? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, I kind of feel like there's something to be done here, but I guess not. Can't talk to this person. Uh, alright. Can't seem to do anything. Nothing to say. Uh, okay. It's kind of suspicious. I don't really know what to do about that. Bunch of trash back there. Is there some, like, secret way down, maybe? Or is that just something concerning we can't really do anything about? Okay. Definitely strange. Did we talk to you? All of the wealthy citizens of Gold... Oh yes, Gold Mill live in the north of the canals. Yes. I recall this. How at the inn? I must return to Stoneholt. Reportedly the city is under siege again. Everyone comes to Gold Hill to trade goods. That's why I'm here. Fair enough. Uh, 60 cash money for one night. Would you like to stay? No, thank you. You have a lovely dinner later to attend. Oop, Celestial Down was found. Very good. Note something? No. Just sleep, take a nap, free maybe? Alright. I don't think I've missed anything there. Very good. Uh, I think we've... Have we covered everyone outside? Just wanna... Well, except for the market, which I'm avoiding. Because it's probably gonna progress. Uh... Yeah, it's a pretty big place actually. Uh, there's you two. I don't think we talk to you. I'm planning a big trip soon. I want to see all of Ethros and be a true adventurer. Good luck, uh... I don't really have anything clever to say. All right there, you are not permitted entry into the Goldhill Mill Castle. Why not? 
Yeah, yeah. Alright. What is this place? Okay. Quick save. Oop. I wish there was a quick save button. I, I always want a quick save button, not just specific to this, but... It's nice man to just hit a button and not have to worry about the menu. Ooh. What do we got going? Uh, hello. A shock whip, eh? I'll take a shock whip. Not really sure what I'll do with it, but I'll take it. Alright. It's, uh... Oh, lock. Come on. Won't even let me inside your building. Oh, come on. What's with all the lock places? I got stuff I want to steal, man. Come on. Loot? Secret? No? Maybe? Alright. How you doing? The canals are so beautiful. Indeed. Indeed. I like me a good canal. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Locked. Ah, oh, come on. What's everyone with locking their shit? Alright. Hi there. Gotta keep on trying. Ain't no quitter. That's the attitude, man. Indeed. Hello. You wanna speak? No? Alright. And the money shop? Money shop? Sure. That's that's words. That's English. Hi. You have to make sure to keep a fresh supply of items. You never know when you might need them. I agree on that. A lot of things we could loot here. Welcome to my item shop. What do you got, buddy? God damn, we have a lot of potions. <laughs> 34. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think we'll skip the tonics. We've got plenty. Antidote. Yeah, we've got a shit ton of them. Uh, solid amount of those. I'd say plenty. Yeah, we're, we're pretty stocked, actually. Yeah, nice. Alright. Yeah. I think we'll be all set for a while. How you doing? You know what? Have some more money. Many thanks to you. May the sea god bless you on your travels. Oh, that's interesting. I gave 50 and she's friendly. I gave 100 and it's suckers. Uh, well, anyway, she may, either way, she may say suckers, but she doesn't look like she's doing so well, so... You know. Might get a few minutes of happiness out of that money, or, you know, a week if she's smart. <laughs> I'm just assuming, you know, that's either, you know, buy drink or buy food and smart things, you know. Anyway. Oh, very nice. Gold Mill Pub. Alright, save it again. <laughs> you never know. Okay. There's quite a few people in here. Is that Johan in front of us? Oh yeah, that's Keegan. Okay, Nolan, yep, okay. The only good orc is a dead orc. Well, that's a little racist, but sure. Wait. Yeah, they're a race. Okay. It's like, wait, is that the right term for that? <laughs> they say that skeletons lurk in the great desert of the south. How dreadful. What about sea slimes? They smell awful and they always find a way onto your ship. Yeah, I had to deal with some of them myself. Remember that girl in Fallfell? The one at the inn? I... I do. I don't know why you're saying that. Were you there? My memory's not that good. The girl in Fall... Oh, okay. I thought was talking to me. The girl in Fallfell? I remember her. She was so mean to me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> We're playing a role-playing game. I mess up every dice roll. My character ran into a dark cavern and was killed. Why'd it have to be like that? I don't understand why my fireball spell doesn't hurt the fire dragon. Hmm, I wonder, buddy. God damn, look at these people and their giant fishes. It's like as big as that... Uh... I don't know what the hell that is. It was going to be a pig, but... The head's kind of strange. Either way, it's a giant fish, man. I'm having lunch with my mummy. Very nice. May the sea god bless this meal. I think I think it did. I think that is definitely blessed by the sea god. Mmm, I love boar belly. It's always so juicy. Oh, boar, okay. Yeah, look at that fish. It's nearly as big as a boar. Mmm, this is some delicious boar. They caught it right here in the forest of gold meal. I live near the great gold mine. We dig and dig and there's still always more gold. Truly a blessing from the god below. Well, yeah, it's good. They say that fighting in the southern kingdom is getting worse every day. My seafaring days are almost at an end. Gold Miller has a lot of pretty ladies. I wonder if I can woo any of them. <laughs> well, if you're saying woo, <laughs> well, good luck. I miss my dog. I say that the Jade Queen, Naslin, I say that the Jade Queen, Naslin, Naslin is most beautiful. Naslin. I'm always inclined to say like, nah, like, but it's probably nah, right? Naslin. I say Queen Tenor is the most beautiful. They say the Slave King will come and restore balance to Aetheros one day. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. The red wine here is exceptional. I'll take another one. Good stuff. Being a lumberjack is hard work. It's especially hard when the orcs show up and try to attack. We showed those pirates a thing or two. Wahaha. <laughs> Time mages, magic stones, prophecy, and a great evil. It's all a bit too much for me to believe. 
Well, I think we've had some evidence thrown in our face so far, but yeah. This is a fine looking pod with plenty of fine looking maidens as well. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, Johan. Enjoy. Alright, very good. The Western Kingdom is the best. Oh, yes, we. Yes, yes. Very good. Uh, I think. Alright, what, what else we got going on around here? I think we've talked to most people other than the marketplace. Um, oh, hello. My boyfriend worked at the nearby lumber mill. He was savagely killed by a member of the local thief guild. He called himself, he called himself Drobo. That's rough, man. Well, good luck. Don't really know what to say to that. I hate gold mill. I blame that half-breed queen. Okay. Guess some aren't too, uh, much, as much a fan of the queen as others. Long live the queen. Yeah, alright, some some mixed opinions on the Queen we have then. Uh, okay, can't go in there. Uh, we covered, yes, that's the bullshit place that won't let me in. Uh, got that. Can we try and go in here? Locked. Locked. Uh, may the sea god guide your sails. Well, this is nice. I don't know what it is, but it looks nice. How many save slots do we have again? Oh, 42, right. Very strange number, but yes, plenty. Okay, Gold Mill Temple, alright. It's kind of nice. I used to follow the Voras gods when I was younger. Now I worship the one true sea god. Good stuff. Don't worry, you can count on me. Ah, uh, I'm glad. I'm praying to the sea god for strength. Alright. Oh, hello. 50 cash money was found. I think this is more cash money. Look at these gold bars, man. That'd be some delicious money. The sea god wishes that washes our sins away. Blessings be upon you. Thanks. Not sure why there's a bucket on this uh, stack of gold <laughs> leak in the ceiling. Oh, all right, fine. Uh, any double checking? All right, fair enough. Hmm. All right, it's a nice little place. Uh, you were locked. Uh, was this? Yeah. Okay, locked. I kind of wish there was a, a map for the towns. I mean, it's not necessary, but they're actually large enough where it wouldn't be bad. Or I would like it. Uh, yes, we've been there. We went to the inn, I think. I mean, we did go to the inn, yes. Uh, locked. Just want to make sure. Uh, the pub. We went that... Oh, I thought that was up further. Okay, we definitely did go there. Okay, we went to the item store, good. I think we're about good other than the market. I just, uh, I, I hate missing things, you know? And like talking to everyone, you know, it really builds the world. Uh, I know some people sort of just skip past all NPCs that are just sort of random in games, but I, I just know when it is enjoyable for me to do it like that. You just get to learn so much, you know? Especially if the writing's good, which I, I really, I think the writing's quite good. Uh, and so far. Like, it's, uh, it's keeping me very interested and, you know, I generally want to talk to, you know, because in some games, like, even though I always play it that way, sometimes it feels like there's a real routine of getting to a new town. It's like, okay, I'm going to go talk to everybody now. And, like, a lot of them don't really say much that's useful, whereas this is good, you know, because it sort of gives you, like, that guy who's, like, you know, the half-breed queen something something and, you know, you sort of get, you know, you get more of an idea of the citizenry here. You know, they're not all necessarily feeling the same about certain things. And and that's sort of natural, but you actually get to sort of experience it when you actually talk to them. And, you know, there's decent writing. So, yeah, good stuff. Anyway, I think I've circled around enough. I think we can go to the market. Possibly missed something, but I think we're all good. And that is not the market. Market's down here. Yes, that was, yes, I remember that being locked. Alright, I know I'm saving too much, but... Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> ah, the marketplace. Well, ladies, time to find ourselves some new trinkets. I don't know, I'm not really into these sort of things. I only really wanted to come along to get some time away from Johan. <laughs> ah. I think I could use a new dress or two. Well, just be careful. Some of these prices require a fair bit of haggling. If you aren't sure of the quality, just ask me. Are you a bit of a connoisseur? Most definitely. <laughs> I can spot a genuine item from a mile away. Alright, let's go. Very nice. Okay. We've got, uh, we've got a few things here. Are these actually going to be shops we can... Like, can we actually buy stuff from all these? A beautiful necklace will bring out the color of your eyes. That would look good on your dairy. It would just get tangled in my scarf. 
Yeah, I think that dairy's a she's a practical woman. Care for some savory apples? Do you have any Voris apples? They always remind me of home. Sorry, miss. Only Western Kingdom apples here. Ah, Sokka. They say that a ring is the most intimate of gifts. Care to try one? Maybe an engagement ring for the little lady? Ha, <laughs> most definitely not. Ah. Well, one day, one day. You look like you could use a new dress. What's wrong with my dress? Nothing, Raven. <laughs> Besides, the silk on these dresses is pretty worn. Lies. My dresses are the finest quality. Of course they are, my lady. <laughs> yeah, Tells is still polite, but calling the shit out. I got the finest silks from the city of Moor. Feel that material. Not bad, but I've seen better. <laughs> all right, she's just tearing you assholes on all of them. Uh-oh, I think this is story progress. A beautiful dress can make all the difference. Or a hat, perhaps? Pretty shoddy quality on the stitching. Please be kind. My wife stitched it herself. This, the blade is coming. Yeah, you, you can tell when the story's going to progress because it takes control of your characters and stacks them into a certain spot. Ah, uh, I wanted to talk to all of them. Oh no, the blade. Who is the blade? The blade is a giant green monster that raids the marketplace. He takes whatever goods he wants and cuts down anyone who gets in his way. I'm sorry, what? How, how is that happening in the middle of this city where there's like guards and all this shit? What? He wields two giant axes and has goblin slaves gather the goods for him. Even the city guard is afraid of him. Oh, okay. That seems a little, little extreme. Oh no, he's coming. Interesting. Halt. Cease at once, you cruel monster. <laughs> Are you sure about this? We can't allow innocent people to be terrorized. We have to try and stop him. Okay. Those poor goblins, they look hurt. And let's put this ugly let's put that ugly monster down. We'll be quick about it. Those axes look sharp. Stay behind my shield for protection. Alright, alright. Uh what do we want to do then? You want some protection ore maybe? Hmm, no, let's just shield toss it up. Wait, that's probably not a good idea. Because we just knocked, I don't know if we're meant to like beat the orcs. Maybe we're just meant to focus on, uh, hopefully we're meant to beat the orcs like a normal fight. Otherwise, oh wait, did I say orc? Goblin? Yeah, goblin, sorry. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Although I, I want to reload anyway, because I, I want to talk to everyone. <laughs> oh my. Uh, I guess I can't reload from here, can I? Hmm. Let's just do some magic. It's a time travel game, right? Oh, look at that. We haven't talked to the guy yet. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Sh Shay just, you know, knocked us back in time a little. I mean, you couldn't see it, but that's totally what happened. Totally in-game. Uh, try some oysters with hot pepper sauce? I am hungry. There are better oysters at the docks. Besides, aren't we having lobster in a few hours? I guess that's true. I, I missed that guy there. Anyway. Uh, a beautiful... Yeah, we talked to that one. Did we miss... Uh... We talked to you. Carrots are wonderful. They'll even help your vision. I grew up on a farm and I can tell you these carrots are soft and rotten. Bah, away with you. Uh, loot? No. Wait, did we try and... Alright, time to go. My feet are killing me. Please, Dario, just a few more minutes. I don't know if I tried to enter those places. Uh, I'm sure I did. Uh, okay, we, we need a touch of magic again. Okay, thanks, Shay. All good. I've got the finest silk from the cities of Moor. Feel that material. Not bad, but I've seen better. What about you? Fancy a big old teddy bear? No thanks. We're a bit too old for stuffed animals. Who are you calling old? Haha. <laughs> I got gems from all of the Ethros. Have you seen any gems that look like this? I believe that's just a simple blue stone. They're pretty common in the mines around here. I'll give you... F I'll give you five cash money for it. Not a chance. Ha, huh, that might be the best offer we get for it. Oh, I was confused there. I was like, oh, that's the stone, right? I've got beautiful clothes here. Half cash money right now. They fell off the back of a wagon. Really? Maybe the city guard would like to know about this missing shipment. What? Okay. Well, now full price, just for you. I don't want your stolen goods anyway. Okay. Half price? <laughs> yeah, that's that's quite a salesman. <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't. Uh... Hello, you back here? Try on some of our fine crafted rings. Let me try that one in the back row. Some fine quality engraving, but of course, only the finest from our elven artisans. Ah, it's a bit tight. Sorry, I'll never be able to fit it. Ah, I guess we aren't getting anything from the marketplace. A beautiful dress can make all the difference. Or a hat, perhaps? Pretty shoddy quality on this stitching. Please be kind. My wife stitched it herself. The blade is coming. Oh no, the blade! Who is the blade? The blade is a giant green monster that raids the marketplace. He takes whatever goods he wants and cuts down anyone he gets in his way. He will two giant axes and has four goblin slaves gather the goods for him. Uh, even the city guard is afraid of him. Oh no, he's coming. Doesn't uh, doesn't speak well of the city guard if they can't handle one guy, monster. 
Halt. Cease at once, you cruel monster. Are you sure about this? We can't allow innocent people to be terrorized. We have to try and stop him. Oof, I need a drink. It's poor goblins. They look hurt. And let's put that ugly monster down. We'll be quick about it. Those axes look sharp. Stay behind my shield for protection. Okay. So, totally the first time we're starting this. All good. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to go with the aura, because... Was that some, oh, wait, is that... Oh, right, no, no, it's just that. Okay. I was going to... I remember that happened last time when I thought we were like choosing someone, but yeah, it's just, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a surprising amount of damage last time, so I think the aura is going to be worth it. Um, now, well, I guess we'll just shoot. It should be fine. Ooh, what the fuck? Who, who just attacked? That wasn't one of us. Wait a minute. The goblins aren't the blade slaves. They're forcing him to fight. Target the goblins instead. Oh. Oh, and I was all... Ah, I was going to avoid attacking them. What is this? You got it. Get the three goblin-sized coffins... Get three goblin-sized coffins ready. My ladies, haste would be most appreciated. Regardless of who is controlling him, the blade still hits hard. Oh, I cannot believe that. I was... Th ah. Those sneaky fuckers. Ah, I can't even believe that. Show tossing the shit out of these guys. Eat that shit. And you know what? I I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you back, Raven, just cause just cause I want to. Uh, please don't knock her down again. That'll be okay. We're all good. We're gonna have to. It'll be a couple hits to the big guy, but he's still done plenty of damage. So we did it. The blade is free. I don't know if it would have been better to not hit him for some reason, or oh, we got a celestial down, sir. So that's good. Wow, look at him go. A million thanks to you. Not a problem, sir. Nonsense. The city guard has been unable to stop the blade, or rather, those goblins for almost five years now. Five years? Jesus. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Major's hat was found. Wait, does it say found? What? <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, now let's do more shopping. Uh. <laughs> it feels like we've been shopping for years. It has been quite a few hours. Okay, let's head up north to the Rose and Chain pub. I can't wait to try this lobster that Clyde told us about. Delicious. The market is closed for the evening. Come back tomorrow. All right, let's see what this uh, this hat is. One for Raven, perhaps? Uh, yeah, nice. Okay. Knocks down the uh, max HP. But, yeah, I think we'll go with that. Sure, why not? Ah, I can't even believe that. Damn goblins. No, I thought they were innocent. Uh, you still, yeah, sure, have some, have, there you go, enjoy. Um, I'm feeling generous, apparently. Plus, we have enough money, and, I mean, we got so many items, I'm not too worried. But, uh, just have a quick poke around here. Yeah, I assume these probably haven't updated. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're all good. I don't imagine anything suddenly unlocked. Probably all good to just go. Um, mm, yeah, they're not there anymore. Uh, let's go to the pub first. I had a lot of people. Um, pub was not that way. <laughs> this way, there we go. This isn't the right pub. Clyde said it was on the north end of town. It's called the Rose and Chain. Oh, touche, touche. Fair enough. How you doing here? Yeah, the last bit, wait, what happens if you give five? Only five? Cheap bastards. So is it, is it haha, suckers. All right, that's fine. I've given her way too much money, but it's fine. She pro we we'll get plenty. <laughs> we have plenty of monsters and shit to kill to replenish, so. All right, what am I doing? Walking around rather arbitrarily. All good. Uh, this way, that was sort of. I think it was just up here, right? If I'm not mistaken. Hello. Yeah, yeah, Miss Death something something. Uh, Nani? This isn't sus or anything. Ah, you made it. You're the last group to arrive. Come on down. Okay. Not suspicious or anything? Oh, alright. Oh shit, there's a lot of people. Johan's telling the truth. This creep was hitting us with actual fireballs. 
Fire magic is very dangerous. Are you okay? Of course. It takes more than some fire to hurt me. It lit a flame under Keegan's butt, though. He was smitten with the patron we saved. Oh, really? It, it was nothing like that. The lady and her daughter merely wanted to show a sign of gratitude. That, that is all. Haha, <laughs> the retired commander still got it. Well, you gentlemen weren't the only ones being heroic. We fought off a giant green monster. It was wielding two huge accent. Actually, it turned out that it wasn't so mean, though. It was actually being controlled by three goblins. So you meant to say that you took down only three goblins. Altosa. Altosa. Eh. Uh, Tulsa. Such exaggeration. We didn't know that at first, and the monster kept smashing us with his axes throughout the fight. Goblins are about the same height as you, Tulsa, so I can understand why they're mostly scary to you. God below, please silence this fool for the benefit of all of us. Voss, how was your time in the city? We heard rumours of orcish raids and witnessed some hostile attitudes from many of the townsfolk. Well... Dot dot dot. I was fortunate enough to enjoy my time here peacefully. I was even able to find some time to meditate with a new friend. Meditation. Such a waste of time. Not at all. Not at all. Meditation's good stuff. Hey, where's Clyde? I was talking up this lobster and I've been looking forward to it all day. That's the most sensible thing you've said since we sat down. This lobster better be as good as he said. I'm coming. I present to you Goldmill's finest fresh lobster. I mean, tasty. Not quite as big as the fish, though. Praise be to the sky god. This is truly amazing. Johan speaks the truth. This is most delicious. Thanks to you, Clyde. Hey, no problem. A friend of Don's is a friend of mine. What herbs do they use for this? I think I detect some rosemary? I'm actually not sure. The chef here will never reel his secret recipe. Haha. <laughs> uh, what's with the, the weird vibey thingy? And I don't trust Clyde. I like him, but he's also a ninja, so I associate that with poison. It feels so good to have us all here enjoying a meal together. Agreed. One final meal before we all go our separate ways. Is that what we're doing? Like, is that... Because, I mean, some of them have indicated sort of the thing, but not really. Like, we come together and then... Hmm. What? What did you say? I think I am unwell. Oh, shit. Jet, aren't you meant to nose this stuff? Is it done? Oh, you fucker. Oh, if you, if you did this, Clyde, I'm going to kill the shit out of you. What the fuck was that? Hi, Shay. The stone. Um. The stone. It belongs to me. Bring it to me. Okay. Oh shit, see, this some... jet doesn't look like he's in a good way. Oh man, I feel like I just got ground up by dragon's teeth. Derry, are you there? Are you harmed? Yeah, I'm here. It hurts. Raven, are you okay? I'm pretty sore, but I think I'll be okay. What happened? Where are we? No idea. I can see the big green guy. He's here as well. Did they rough us all up? A few more scars will not bother me. I'm alive over here as well. Thanks for asking. Jet, can you hear me? I can see him in the cell across from me. Jet, are you okay? I... Oh, fuck. I think something's wrong. Jesus. Ah, uh, no, Jet. What's wrong? Speak up. His right eye has been carved out. I... I'll be fine. I just need to try and bandage up the wound. Give me a few minutes. Oh, shit, man. I don't know if I can do anything about a missing eye, but I can help heal the wounds. We just need to break out of here. Any ideas? I think that's, uh... That's your cue, Jet, but... Man. This log is simple. I'll just need a moment to pick it. Uh, what? To reset the puzzle pieces, press cancel. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I what, uh, what's the goal here? Uh, I'm not sure what we're meant to be doing. 
Do I need to put them onto the red things? Uh, I'm not sure. I guess I'll make that assumption and just do that. Oh, I guess so. Alright, let's just do that then. I wasn't really clear what... Oh. Oh, I see. I thought they moved one at a time. Okay. Now I understand the rules. Alright, that, that's simple enough then. Pop that one. Pop that one. Bump. Bump. Pop you over. And then a bump. A bump. A bump. There we go. Got it. Alright, easy ones to understand the rules. Oh, nice. Alright, everyone be on high alert. Jet, how's that bandage coming? Good. I used some of my spare leather and made a patch. That should do the trick. Are you sure you are fit to press on? We could rest for a while. I'm fine. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, I can understand that attitude after leaving an eye. Probably don't want to... Uh, losing an eye, I should say. Probably don't want to just hang around. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I wasn't even... What if you missed that chest? I assume... Well, hopefully someone would tell you to turn around. Uh, okay, party's changed again, which... Not a big deal, just just sort of feels weird when it's not got dairy in there. Uh, and it's always been different, like I don't, I don't know what it's based on. It's probably the part that like gets me the most, that I, I don't understand what it's being based on. Like the first time I thought maybe it was going to be an optimal party thing. But in this case I'm not sure why, like multiple times now, what the order has been based on. Because uh, I mean I'm just straight up changing them back to my main crew here, but yeah, that's fine. No big deal. Just a matter of curiosity is all. Can I flip that? Nope. Uh, tent was found. Cool, cool. Are we, like, healed? No, we are not. Uh. Should we have, like, a ration, maybe? Uh. Oh, wait, no, this is... Right, no, that's one person. Right. Can I use one of these here somehow? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Uh. I guess we can just throw a potion on everyone, maybe, for good measure. Oh, what? Oh, I guess I can't... S oh, this must be counted as a dungeon, I guess. Uh, alright, I don't know if we'll need it, but since we have, like, a crap ton of them... Let's just do that, for good measure. Yeah, that'll be good. Alright, let's, uh, try and escape. Oh, we can save here. Okay. Uh, yes, very good. All right, uh... Oh, what the fuck? All right. We're gonna be killing the shit out of some of these guys if I have my way with it. Like you. The Rose and Chain... Oh, it's a guild. The Rose and Chain Guild defends a beautiful city from scum like you. Is this related to Pentam or have we made some other enemies? Oh, we're... Ooh, Tulsa and Keegan have no MP. That's a little awkward. Uh, they can still hit pretty well, I guess, but... Hmm, okay, we might want to actually drink a couple of ether potions. Oh, shit, dairy, smashing it. That was awesome. I think it was one of the highest hits we've seen so far. Really nice. Uh, yes. Oh, that's a little loud in my ear. Turn that down a little bit. There we go. Not that it'll change for you, it's, uh, my headphones have a separate control. Which I really love that. I wish more headphones did that, like, because I think most, like, they, I mean, at least my other ones that I have, if they have, like, a, a volume thing on it, it interacts with the computer itself, whereas it's so nice having a separate one. But anyway, what do we got? Another tent, alright. Alright, I, I don't know what's going on here, but that seems a little extreme, so I'm going to kill the shit out of you. How did you get out of your cells? I was quite enjoying torturing all of you. I think I enjoy killing you even more. Ah, you think you're going to kill me, do you? I think I'm going to kill the absolute shit out of you. Uh... Yeah, go. Smack him with a mace. Oh, the warden. Oh my. Didn't realize you were the warden. Maybe I should have killed them other people first. Well, we'll see what happens. We do have time travel. <laughs> it's, that's my reload anyway. Time, time travel is a good excuse in this game for that. Uh, let's, let's throw some regen on. That's probably good. Um... Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, Tulsa's HP is way down. Let's go with the magic missile. How do you feel about that, a eh, warden? Okay. 
Uh, maybe I'll de yeah, let's defend on Tulsa. I think that'll be okay. Hopefully. Ooh, just okay. Then we can uh, regen. There we go. That'll be good. Yeah, this guy can uh, do quite a bit of damage. Uh, yeah, just just go for it, Keegan. Slice it up. And yeah, I guess we can only really yeah. I think this, we'll probably have to use a few resources to get through this, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, special, you can... Let's go with Aura Protection, actually. That's probably the smart play, right? I don't think we'll have too much trouble here, but... Don't want to underestimate this guy. Uh, ooh, MP's already down. Uh, well, you know, I'm just going to do a potion on Tulsa. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Just, may, yeah. Keep our health up and hope for the best. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Smash it up, if you would, please. Ah. Ooh, fucking hell. That's a little much. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to just... Yeah, we're just gonna have to all potion. I don't think there's any... Yeah, we'll just have to... I, I want to revive Raven, but... I think we have to potion first. Also thinking it may have actually been worth uh, grabbing some of the larger potions. Wasn't expecting uh, to be taking that much damage on single hits. Yeah, over 200? That's, that's pretty crazy, actually. Um, I don't remember... Raven, yeah, go for a shot. Keegan, yeah, I think Celestial down if you please. I don't know if, hmm, might not work out so well. Yeah, and I always have to potion again, make sure we're actually surviving. And we've got the resources, so we may as well use them. Uh, hopefully we can still kill those other people down here after this. I, I, I was tempted to reload for this until this fight <laughs> at the start of it. I was like, alright, I want to reload and make sure we kill them all, <laughs> but uh, maybe not worth it. This guy's pretty tough. Yeah, I feel like we need to keep them above 200, but... That's kind of rough. Alright, let's just, uh... Use whatever we gotta, you know, do what we gotta do, basically. Um... Yeah, play it safe. Let's do that. And then Raven... Well... Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. Alright, uh, you got some MP back, so that's fine. Let's, uh... Yeah. I feel like we have to keep them above 220 health because of how insane his hits are. Look at that shit. Absolutely madness. That is crazy. Uh... You know, uh... Ooh. Just gonna have to use them. We're burning through a lot of potions on this. Um, well, you know what? Hmm, Tulsa can probably do something a little better. Well, is, is that attack up? Is Tulsa going to attack up buff? Is that what that is? Um, uh, wait, can I not? Oh, I don't know what I was clicking then, but. Let's do that. And you know what? Use one on Keegan, I guess. Yeah, just, it's a bit of a battle of attrition here, I think. But that's fine. Smash it up if you would. Hopefully he does. Oh, come on. We did not need a miss just then. Oh, come on, bitch. Okay. I don't remember. I think they still get XP if they're knocked out, don't they? Because it might be easier fighting with less in this case. Rather than having to keep up more items. Keegan. Yeah, just just smack it up. We need to get the health down now. Uh, you know what? Defend to get some MP back. Why not? Is that going to be the bad one? Yeah. Uh, not too bad. Mm, Alright. I think, I think we'll be okay. Although. Nah, we have to use a couple of items. If they, if they did like a thing and wipe us out on this turn, that would be... Uh, that wouldn't be great. Um, 
Yeah, Keegan on yourself, that's fine. We'll do a hit with... Oops, shit, did not mean to defend. Uh, yeah. Sort of worked out, and somewhat. Uh... Well... Alright, we're just gonna have the potion. Yeah, it's probably just... It's probably easier even with two of them, to be honest, just because... We'll use less items and it's the same sort of result because he's either hitting all of us or one of us, so... Yeah, it's probably easier this way actually, strangely enough. As long as uh, Dairy and Raven get XP, it's not a big deal. That was the main thing I was concerned about with reviving, because... Often in games you don't get XP if you've been down, but... I'm pretty sure we did previously, so... We'll go with that. Good enough. Almost got him. This warden's tough, though, I gotta say. Definitely tough. Uh, no, that, that's a risk, isn't it? Oops. Gonna have to use an item. We gotta make sure one of us absolutely stays alive, so... Uh... Yeah, it's fine. Use on Keegan. I think she has, like, more defense anyway. Don't... Oh, you little bitch. I mean, you didn't do damage, so I guess I'll take it, but... Still. You bitch. <laughs> Uh, go for it. Gotta do some damage. Oh, come on! She's not doing well on hitting things recently. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I guess we can only just attack. And... Oh, I don't know if, I don't know if that will even be enough to survive if it's a bad hit. Probably not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go for it. Almost there. Smash, please hit. That would be lovely. Ah! Alright, should have been using items on her if she can't hit anything. Damn, man. I mean, his heals are annoying, but at least they don't do damage, so... I'll take it. And I guess that whatever's buffed on... I should probably... Yeah, maybe be worth clearing that. Mm. Oh, come on! Don't do that! Alright. Uh... I don't know, I could use eye drops. Wait, did it... Oh, is it gone? Oh, it's gone, I think. Okay. Good. <laughs> uh... Oh, what was that? Is it... Oh, defending. Touche. We can work with that. Bless... Ah, you bitch. What have you got to heal for? Oh, that's... And it's 300, so I assume he's using the, uh... Whatever that other, uh... Potion that we didn't get was, the higher version. Oh, come on. What is this? At least we're doing slightly more than 300 damage, I think. Well, no, roughly. <laughs> come on. You know what? Do a defend so you can get some MP back. And we can do a smash with her. Hopefully that does better. Ah, a little more. Oh, come on. This is getting a little bit silly. How many potions does this guy have? Uh, at least we're keeping up some decent damage. Is that going to inflict blind? Oh, you bitch. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to use eye drops because they were, they were a pain for her. And... Uh, smash, I guess. I don't know if I'll regret that. Keegan might get knocked out. Yeah, I thought you might heal. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring one of them back. This is getting awkward. And right, Dairy doesn't have anything. That's an all right. Trying to get some MP back. Uh, use an item. Uh, I don't know if I'm. Yeah. Please don't heal again. That's a real pain in the ass. Oh, of course. Come on, man. It's way too many heals. Uh. If we can keep three of them up, we'll be okay, but... Yeah, my, my plan of having two of them sort of backfired because of that, specifically. <laughs> Alright. Between the three of them hitting, that'll... You know, if, even if he keeps healing over and over, if three of us are hitting, it'll always be above 300, so... But seriously, he's been spending way too much money at the item shops. Thought I had a lot. <laughs> good. That's less good. We survived, though. Good. Uh... Well, let's, let's throw a... Let's go regen on you, Keegan. 
think that'll be okay. I mean, we're getting there. Like, we're pretty close to this point. Ooh, smash. Go for it. If you, if you don't heal, or even if you do, I think that'll still be okay. Man, we burned through way more resources than I was expecting. We had, what, 31 or 34 or something potions before? Man, it's crazy. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have been giving all my money away to that woman. Uh, here we go. Oh, bitch, Raven didn't get XP. I was wrong. Ah. That sucks. I'm gonna have to remember that. That is really unfortunate. I hate missing XP. I mean, to be fair, we can grind elsewhere, but, you know. Ah. That's too bad. Alright, I'm gonna throw a save down, even though I, I can't actually do that, can I? Okay, back here. Now I can throw a save down. God damn. Alright, what are we... Oh wait, we can... We can tent here, can't we? Is that... Is that right? I think? Maybe? Is that how that works? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Get ourselves nice and healed up. Good, alright. Now... Uh... Let, let me just... <laughs> save again quickly here. Just so we don't have to redo that in case. I don't know if these will be a fight or it'll be story. Okay, got a trash. All right. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like we're on uh, good terms with anywhere so far, does it? Oh, there's only two of them. There's three there. I don't know if that'll be two fights or... Uh, but yeah, I don't know if this is because of what happened in Pentam and they found out or... Like, you know, did someone betray us? Or is it just... Yeah, not, not too sure what the deal is with that. Anyway, we'll fight our way out and figure that out, I suppose. Smash it up. Go for it, Tulsa. Very good. Goodbye. And... Oh, Cyrus already got all the information he needed from you. Time to die. Okay, it was two fights. Oh, wait, there's... Alright. I was thinking, like, why was there only two? But now there's... Apparently there was six of them there. Fair enough. I'll take the XP. I don't mind. Um... Yeah, just shoot someone. That'll be nice. And... You know what? Just normal slash will do. MP goes away a bit fast. Static shock. Love it. Burn the shit out of them, please. Or electrocute the shit out of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably more accurate. Stop picking on dairy. Come on. <laughs> uh, shield toss. Go for it. I guess shield toss is a maximum of three, or... I didn't realize that originally. Uh, is that, I don't know what that boulder represents, but I don't trust it, so I'm gonna go after you. <laughs> I don't know if that was like a stone shield thing or what. Uh, yeah, so hit all enemies, I guess. Uh, but I, yeah, I thought that was the same with the shield one, but I guess it is only max three. Or I'll have to read it again here in a second. Uh, whoops. Construct two additional. Oh, okay. I mean, it says it there. I just uh. I just got used to, I guess, only fighting like three or something at once, so I yeah, thought it was an old one. Still good though, still good. And very nice, Raven breaking level eight, good. Some rations, some money, good stuff. Oh, wait, Nolan got EXP just then. So Nolan's in our party then? I didn't realize, okay. What are you doing? It's not time for you to leave yet. Oh, there's even more of them. Um. No, I don't... Oh, shit. I didn't actually want to do that. Uh, not a big deal. Like, Well, actually, no, that's that's actually not ideal at all, is it? Oh, wait, can you just keep swapping? Oh, that doesn't... Okay, I forgot, I forgot that doesn't actually use a turn, does it? I don't think, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you know, try out some water magic. Why not? Probably should have also given you a heal, but... Let's see how we do. Yeah, apparently there's like a million of these guys just stacked in that room. <laughs> but sure, why not? I'm happy to take the XP and money. Especially after all the items we went through. <laughs> Man, it's like, like some of these fights, like, they can do a surprising amount of damage considering how much health we have at the moment, like, which isn't a ton. <laughs> like, even these guys who aren't like a boss is doing 150 and stuff, like, yeah, it's no joke. So I think we should, uh, we'll probably be buying a lot more items, I think. Um, what are we doing? Snipe. I haven't used Snipe in a minute, actually. Go for it. 
Ooh, nice one. Egan, take him down. Miss magic missile, please. Thank you. Good stuff, Raven. Oh shit, I thought that one was already down. My bad. He looked like he was. I guess he was just he was hunched over. Uh, yeah, let's go normal attacks. Already burning through the MP. Well, yeah, actually, Tulsa's got 10 left, so. We'll snipe, though. Snipe's pretty nice. Ooh, man, very nice indeed. There we go. Good stuff. Anything we can steal from this room? Ah. Alright. How's that? Yeah, we probably want a tent again, don't we? Actually, let's do that. It's fine. We found a couple of them, so. As long as we have a few of them, it's not too much of a concern. Good stuff. And of course, a quick save. Very good. And, um, yes, right, this is what I, well, for one, this is not correct, is it? Yeah. Dairy back. Oops. I'd completely forgot about that. that that's better. Uh, and formation. Right, so Nolan's actually in our party. Like, is he here? Like, we can actually, what the hell? Is Nolan a new party member? How big is our party? <laughs> Seriously, it's crazy. It's up to eight, like, it's kind of a lot. <laughs> I mean, we, we had six, which was like, you know, that's a fair party size. Oh, Dragoon. So is Nolan going to be a permanent, like, member here? Like, what's... Kind of seems like it. I mean, that's cool, I guess. I, I don't know if it's going to be temporary or what the deal is, but sure. Why not? Okay. Uh, how are you doing? Thank you for stopping him, but I'm too weak to go on. Please, just try to stop their leader. Who is their leader? What is the meaning of this? His name is Cyrus. He's one of the Dro Dromo's top soldiers. He tortures just about anybody that gets in the way of his gang. Nolan, you must know something about this. I've never heard of any of this. We've never had any dealings with these guys in Goldmill before. Tell my wife I... Ah, oh, shit. You dead? Ah. Well, don't worry. If we find any others, I'll absolutely kill the shit out of them the best I can for you, buddy. Unfortunately, I don't know your wife, so... Well, I'll do my best on that request. Is that... It's Clyde. Clyde, can you hear me, buddy? Clyde. I think he's gone. Oh, what, really? No time to mourn. We move forward. Yeah, I can. I mean, you lost an eye, so... Yeah, I can respect that. Rest easy, lad. Your journey has finally ended. Really? Ah, I mean, I... Hmm. I was going to kill the shit out of Clyde if he was involved, but... Seems like maybe he wasn't. Which... But he... But... But he was involved with the place, though, wasn't he? Like, maybe that he didn't want to go along with it or something. Ah, because we had, like Clyde was, yeah, all right. I liked Clyde until I thought he he had screwed us over, and if he didn't screw us over, I, I like him again. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Huh. Oh shit! Hello, you murderous scum. Okay, so maybe it is. Uh, them calling us that does make it seem like it could be Pentam related. All right. Um, just stick, uh, play this a little smart, because I feel like we just burn through MP way too fast at the moment. So there's probably no reason to not just do normal attacks if we can get away with it. Uh, all right, Raven from the back cannot do that, but that's fine. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, Raven, yeah, don't want to be normal attacking with Raven anyway, actually, that was, yeah, right. Uh, smash, oops, yeah, smash sounds good when that thing is up at least. I just, I assume that's some sort of, yeah, stone shield thing. Uh, Dairy, how do you go against that? I think you did good damage last time. Oh, well, as good as her, I think, so probably not bad. Keegan, go for it. Good. Magic missile, and goodbye to you. Good stuff, Raven. And, oh. Wait, I thought you said you locked them away. Cyrus won't like this. I don't really give a shit what Cyrus thinks, buddy. Eat some shield. I mean, if there's a few enemies, then may as well be using them. Try not, because I mean, even till like down to 65 already, it's like, really don't have much. Uh, it's for, I mean, yeah, Dairy has a bit. Ooh, and it's, it seems really worth it with uh, that shot. That's really good. Uh, Keegan, you can just stick the normal for now. You do pretty nice damage anyway. Raven, I think's more okay. She's probably worth more just uh, doing whatever with. So even Dairy to it, like, it's more, yeah, I think Dairy and Raven are probably fine to burn it on and even use items for, just in general, because, I mean, the shield toss is nice in that, but 
Yeah, it, well, it's 10. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, it goes fast depending on how many battles you're doing, I guess. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see sort of how much money we have going forward and... What does that one cost again? A 25. Yeah, it's pretty expensive, but it does really nice damage on some of these. Uh, so we'll probably just have to see, like, what kind of money we have going forward. Like, how much we can actually afford to be just be buying um, ether and things like that. So, we'll know. We'll see. Um, goodbye. Probably gonna... I can see, um... I can see the benefit of finding those four uh, anti-poison rings. I'm forgetting the exact name. Anti-venom, whatever they are. We're getting uh, knocked by that a bit. Uh, which... Yeah, I guess we'll just use potions. Although, my god, we are so low on them. Hmm. Alright. Oh, we got another save. Okay. Good stuff. I don't know if that means that's the way out. Probably. Let's make sure we check it over everything first then. Ah, Rip Clyde, man. Seemed like you weren't a bad dude. Don't know for certain, but... Seems that way if you're dead. Don't know what happened, I mean... I mean, they didn't bother killing us. Like, we were just locked up, so... I don't know, I guess maybe they, you know, could have wanted to just turn us over to Pentam, you know, for like, uh... Well, actually, to be fair, I don't know if this is... Hmm. Because this seems to be relating to that guild, not necessarily gold mill. I don't know. Like, maybe, um, Pentam has hired that guild or something, as opposed to, like, maybe you're actually fine with, uh, gold mill. But then, these people down here that we've been killing seem like they look similar to the guards, like they got the gold armor and stuff, but... Yeah, what, is it Rose and Chain? Or I keep, it keeps, like, completely going in my head every time, whatever that is. Is it Rose and Chain? Something like that? Yeah. Um... I was thinking about something else while I was saying that. Now I'm blank. Alright, that's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> ay ay ay. There we got here. Ninja mask. Are these, uh... Are these worth it for anyone? Dairy, perhaps? Ninja mask. Uh, defense, but knocks HP down. Uh, that actually... One less attack, but it... That's, yeah, maybe... I mean, it is a good jump in defense, actually. Uh, although, that might be better for Raven. Oh no, she can't use it. I thought Raven because it was normal attack down and she's, you know, M attack. Um, I don't know, I guess maybe, yeah. I guess we'll give her a bit more defense. That's fine. Ninja Mask. 3 defense versus 25 HP. Uh, I, I don't know which would be better, but I'm gonna make her a ninja, apparently, so that works for me. Very good. And just in case that guy is a boss of some kind. Alright. What's up? We'll teach you a lesson for your deceit. No idea what you're talking about, buddy. But I think we can probably go all out here. I mean, the warden seemed like he was the, the main boss of the area, so... Uh, yeah, I, I gotta keep using it. Snipe's just too good. Like, she does some serious damage on these guys. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Dispatch, go for it, Keegan. Very nice. Uh, shock the shit out of them, if you would. Thank you very much, Raven. Very good indeed. Yeah, like, that shock's, like, pretty crazy. There's, like, collectively, like, 400 damage she does in one go there, so. Pretty nice. Shield toss. Three left. Perfect. Uh, you know, try some wind magic. Why not? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> haven't used the magic too much yet, but it's nice to have it. Dispatch him, if you would. Good stuff. Another static shock from old Raven. Thank you. And I think we can probably just normal attack to finish up. Ooh, that was a very nice attack, actually. <laughs> Alright, don't want to underestimate her normal attack. Good stuff. And of course, I'm going to save again. Because I can't help myself, apparently. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love saving. Mainly because I don't like repeating things. You know, it works. Oh, I thought that was going to be the way out. <laughs> Jeez, man, why they got such a big dungeon? Who goes there? Okay. What's the meaning of this? That's my question, buddy. We should be asking you the same. You have imprisoned us and tortured us for no reason. 
For no reason, you say? Perhaps for the assassination of a member of the Pentam City Guard? Is that reason enough for you? That wasn't us. A likely story. One which falls apart quickly under our persuasive techniques. Torture is never a form of reasonable investigation. Wait, your armor. Are you a member of the Goldmill City Guard? That I am, but the Rose and Chain Guild are the true keepers of justice in this city. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. If you want confirmation of that, just ask my brother. Your brother being... Oh, motherfucker, I am gonna kill the shit out of you. This has all gone long and long enough. Everyone, please stop. Clyde, Nanda. Just as my brother Cyrus said, your group was accused of murdering a commander of the city guard. Yeah, accused is right. I had to see if that was true. I cannot fight alongside such a group. You could have just asked Captain Don to reject our wishes, or even asked us for the truth. We have nothing to hide. If only that were true. I've been at your side for years now, Clyde. Why wouldn't you mention any of this to me? Why would you let them torture me as well? Yeah, what's... Yeah, what? I had to play the role, and I couldn't have any loose ends. What? You bastard. I'll rip you a new blowhole. I agree, Nolan. This is madness. You've carved out Jet's eye and beaten us for nothing. Quite the contrary. We were able to reveal that it was Jet who delivered the poison which killed Commander Gregor. What? <laughs> I mean, didn't we sort of already have confirmation about that being Lox? Lux? Lox? I may or may not have slightly forgot his name. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm terrible with names. Uh, Lux? I think it was Lux, right? Hmm. Another one I want to kill the shit out of. We were able to reveal that it was Jet who delivered the poison which killed Commander Gregor. Jet? Is this true? Speak up. Was this all truly your doing? I had no idea who the poison was for. I was just following my mission orders that my guild provided. So this whole time we've been on a run and you didn't say a thing? What could I say? The guild is my family and I am bound to their service. Jet, you said that it was an order you were following. Who requested the assassination? I'd rather not say. Jet, you betrayed us all and gotten us all tortured. No more lies. Who placed the assassination order? I was only given an alias. I was told it was by the order of... The Slave King. Nani? <laughs> uh... Okay, so yeah, I'm a bit confused on... Okay, I mean, I guess it makes sense because we were at the table and that. It was just... It, it seemed like it was sort of confirmed that Lux had done it, but I guess... You know, him orchestrating it sort of the same, but it, it... Him being right next to him as well, I mean, yeah. Hmm. Okay. What? So it was you all along, Vos. What kind of orc trickery is this? Never. It must have been another using that name. A false prophet, most likely. Aha, I guess there truly is no honor amongst a lot of you. We've seen enough. I had planned to turn you over to the Pendam City Guard, but I guess we can perform your execution here and now. Prepare to pay for your crimes. Okay, I should have healed, it would seem. Like, definitely should have healed. Okay, so... I mean, hmm, okay. So Jet didn't exactly betray us, but he also did betray us. Like, yeah. Oh, wait, so... He said he didn't know who the poison was for. What does that mean, then? Does that mean, like, he was ordered to just spike a, a particular drink at some time or something? Like, he didn't... Because that makes it sound like he didn't administer it when he was at the table there. Like, maybe his order was to spike a specific thing out of the kitchen or something like I mean it still doesn't change the fact that he didn't tell us and we've been on the run because of that but I'm, I'm curious as to the specifics there I don't know if we'll find out more or hmm. anyway we have a fight to worry about for now apparently um yeah let's go with the protection aura that's probably smart um let's throw a regen on Keegan I think that'll be good. And, uh... Yeah, let's try and dispatch some of these guys. Uh, well. Raven can handle a bit of that. Very nice. Good stuff. Hmm. Alright, a little bit of process there, eh? I guess we'll see what happens. Out. Oh my god, alright. we got another bitch who can do the crazy attacks. Alright. Shield toss, please. That'll help. Need to get some of these weak guys down to make it a little bit easier at least. Then we don't have to worry about one attack at a time, hopefully. Uh, you know what, Dairy? Go for a snipe. We can, someone else can use an item, I think. Oh yeah, love that. Um, yeah, Ke Keegan, you, you can use an item if you would please. It is for yourself anyway. 
Stick with Raven doing the uh, Static Shock. That'll be good. Ooh, Dairy's out of MP. That's unfortunate. Um, well, she can still shoot the back anyway, so that helps. Uh, yeah, go the Shield Toss. Best if we can get the back one down. And then hopefully we're just dealing with that one strong attack and not an AoE deal. Uh, you want to do an aura? Nah, it's probably fine. Let's, that's fine. Go for that. Static shock again, please. I probably should do a magic missile on the back, actually. No, oh, it's still good. Ooh, we're going to need some heals going in a second here. Um, yeah, you can you can do that. That'll be good. Dairy, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go item for you. Keegan as well, then Raven can sh do something nice. Uh, yes, Keegan on Keegan, pretty good. Raven, uh, yeah, let's, let's go straight to the back guy. Hopefully they'll uh, do the job. Ooh, damn. The back, back guy seems like she has a decent amount of health. Ooh, miss, I'll take it. Very nice. Oh, and another miss, even better. This is going much better. Very good. Yeah, the, the Warden was the one to be concerned about. That guy was way stronger. <laughs> yeah, he should have been the one in charge, apparently. Uh, mm, yeah, sure, let's go with that. Oh, is that Clyde in the back? I didn't even realize. Is that... Is that why? Oh, it is Clyde. I thought it was just... I didn't realize, because he looked the same as the others with the black. Okay. Alright, yes, Clyde, I'm killing the shit out of you then, and I'll take great pleasure in that. I mean, especially because... Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I'll say, especially because he's sort of like, especially he's screwing over Nolan. Like, it's understandable to be distrustful of us, but it sounds like you've literally been with Nolan for years, so not cool, man. Not cool. Ah, oh, and I felt bad after seeing him dead. Not cool. Alright, let's finish this up. Uh, shoot him up, if you would, please. And Keegan for the finisher. There we go. Ooh, nice. Another level. Very good. Uh, boarding pike, gold bar, cool, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. And now you're going to murder my brother? You'll pay for- uh, that, that's- Interesting definitions, buddy. Murder? I'm pretty sure I killed the shit out of him in defense. That's what I would say, but sure. Piss off, Clyde. I'll get you later. Clyde, get back here right now. I'm not finished with you. We can chase that trader in a minute. We have one here that we need to deal with first. Yeah, Dairy ain't fucking around. We should just discuss this. Why? So you can try and deceive us as well? Maybe the people of Goldmill will write about you and Vos. Can't trust an orc. That's enough. Regardless of what we've done, we're still in a dungeon full of soldiers who want to kill us. All of us. Can we agree to work together to get out of here? Of course. I never wanted to harm any of you. I promise that I'll be honest with you from now on. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. I, I want to give Jet a little bit of benefit of the doubt here. Uh, let's press on. Agreed. Just because, like... I mean, his betrayal was nothing like Clyde there. <laughs> that was bullshit. Um, what I say is I'm benefit of the doubt of Jet, just because I don't know the actual circumstances. Like, it sounds like... Because uh, that's the thing. Just because... I don't know. Hmm. It sounded like maybe his order wasn't so clear. Like he said... Because he said, like... He didn't know who the poison was for. But I don't know if that was, like, before. Like, did he realize at the time? Or... It sounded more like he was potentially, as I said, like order to say poison a specific meal or a specific glass or something like that and yes it doesn't change what happened afterwards but he was obviously in a pretty bad position like you can't exactly blame him for not being like uh, hey guys actually I, I did in fact poison that guy like you, you can it, it doesn't you know it's still bad for us but you can at least understand that a bit so I don't know and he did lose an eye so yeah th there is that I don't know. We'll see how it goes moving forward. I'm, a, I'm, a, I guess it's, I'm willing to give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt, uh, at least to a degree for now. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that ends up. Uh, and I think we will tent because that was pretty rough. Although I guess to be fair, that's another thing. Like, you could skip the tent and just use other party members who haven't fought, couldn't you? I like keeping the same party though, so yeah, that's fine. All right, let's see who else we can kill while we're down here bitch. Alright. Tent was found. Oh, nice. I'll take me a tent. Uh, oh, stone skin. Okay. Reduces all damage taken to the user from all attacks by 50%. Oh, that's pretty nice. Hmm. Alright. 
I think we'll stick with a shield toss here, though. Although, try not to burn through too much MP. Although, I say that and then I just want to snipe, because Dairy's shots, like, absolutely smash these guys. That's so good. Uh, oh, Cleave! Oh, it's an AoE! I love me an AoE. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, I love that. Very satisfying. Oh, man, we've all got new attacks. I'm liking it. Oh, wait a second, what? Oh, I was like, where's Magic Missile? It's, it's there, don't mind me. Oh, that one's expensive. That's like a single attack, but it only... Oh yeah, it's got a three-star damage, though. Because, oh, it's cost 30, I only hits one, but... Yeah, alright, I do want to try that, but... There's four of them, and, you know, very nice. <laughs> I had to do that first. Ah, come on, poison, man. Really wish I'd got those rings. The poison's pretty rough. Because it's like, it's a decent sized attack that gets hit with the poison too. Alright, very good. Getting a few levels. Getting some loot. It's all good stuff. Uh, yeah, let's use an item. Man, I can't believe how many potions we've gone through. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, alright, I see a chest there. Wait, what? Uh. Uh, what? What am I missing? Oh, I see. I knew that. Don't mind me. Hello, someone I'm gonna kill. Yes, I am. Or some peoples. Uh, yeah, let's go that. Shield toss is always nice. And I can't help but snipe as well, because dairy is just awesome. <laughs> Very good. And a cleave. I don't know how this... Because it... So, is it just a row thing? Because it, it's showing three there, but... Yeah, a circular AoE attack. See, three of them are flashing there, but only two got hit last time when it was like that. So... Oh! That, ooh, nice. Okay, uh, maybe I was mistaken last time, or... Hmm. Okay, I'm not really sure now. But if uh, Dairy gets herself a volley, we've all got an AoE attack, so that'll be really nice. I'm just a shoot, like, I don't know if she will get a volley, it just seems like so fitting for her setup though, so I'm really hopeful on that. Very nice. Uh, I don't know what that does, but... Did we need that to go out, or did it open up something else? I assume it probably was needed, just, uh... I don't want to miss any little secret passages or anything. Because, I mean, I obviously missed at least two secret passages in the, the last dungeon with those rings. Hmm. It's probably... Is that... No, we got that chest down there. Alright, it's probably not too much going on around. Uh, I suppose we'll save while we're here. I've already done like 700 of them, but... Oh, number 42. Very nice. Alright. Very good. Oh shit, I've already been playing for over an hour and a half. Wow. That's, uh... It's not bad. This is a crazy side. Like, this demo is really long for what it is. I mean, I'm sure you could do it so much faster than me, but... Still. Really good. Really good. I wonder how much is left, actually. Hopefully a bit. I'm really enjoying it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to wait so long for the full game. <laughs> I assume, anyway. But it'll be worth the wait. And if it's long enough, I'll, I'll enjoy replaying the start anyway, because I'm sure I'll forget things, so... That, that, that always is nice, too. In a strange way. Alright, let's try this. H how's the fire go? It better be good, it's expensive. Ah, uh, yeah. That's pretty good, I guess. If you're doing single target, like, that'll be worth it, but otherwise... I think the AoE's better in, in groups, still. Go for it, Tulsa. Good. Ah, uh, yeah, just, just shoot him up, fairy. Good stuff. Good, good. I assume the next room up ahead is going to be the the end. I mean, how how much dungeon do they need? Oh, did we just get a new regen? Oh, nice. So, what's the difference there? Uh, well, it's power 2, power 3, so I guess it's just a stronger version, which, I mean, makes sense, but doesn't say how much better. That's fine, then. Uh, okay... Not sus suspicious or anything? Is that like a scream? Can you hear that? That does not sound good. Oh, hello. 
hunting knife is found. All right, I'll take me a hunting knife. Man, what's all the groups of four? <laughs> I guess they, they, yeah, they don't like to be alone apparently. Uh, we do not need to regen, but I will snipe the shit out of one of you. Very good. Uh, yeah, go for it, Keegan. Slice them. And a little static shock for the group. Gotta love that. I'm really enjoying a lot of the attacks that these guys have, like, even though it's like nothing insane, but they're just, there's, there's a lot of satisfying attacks, I'll say. Uh, let's try and save a little MP though, which I keep saying, but not doing as much as I should. Dairy, get on that. Thank you. Keegan, slashy slashy time. Uh, hmm. Because they're, they're like, I don't know how good fire is in terms of value, because this is a, that is a three star, but this is still two star and it costs half, so you're going to do two of those for that. And just, you know, with the actual MP totals, like, you do have to worry about that. Probably shouldn't have even used Smash just then, but it's fine. And nice one. Oh, oh, Davy would hit level 10. Tulsa second up, cool. Good stuff. I didn't get a lot of XP from that, actually. Didn't get, uh... Okay. That's... That does not sound good at all. Uh, should we tent again? I feel like we almost should. Uh... Yeah. Because you never... Like, I feel like there could definitely be another strong one. And we, we'll just buy more tents, you know. Worst case scenario, in any case, is always, you know, just need to grind. Um money and shit, which I don't know, I don't think we necessarily will have to, but, I mean, we're up to 8,400 again, so, I think we've over doubled what we had just from uh, being in here so far. So that ain't bad. Oh my, this batch of venom is quite potent. I'll need to pick up more roses soon to blot out the scent. And now to see how our little venom factory is doing. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? That's one way to make venom. Calling it a venom factor is a little generous, though. What's wrong with you? I don't care if this hurts. We need more venom to try and stop those no-good orcs. Okay. Delicious. Oh, hello. Oh, goggles. Fancy. All right. Oh, oh, shit. What? Who locked me in? No, no, no. Ah, uh, goodbye. Although, I do want that chest. Oh, that's conflicting. Am I going to have to fight you, Mr. Spider? That is not a spider, but is in fact a scorpion. Ah, uh, I can't pass up a chest. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And close. I'd let you out, but you'd probably kill me. I do feel bad about you being left captive, though. Well, you've got a meal. You'll be fine. Daijobu. Ooh, freedom. Sunlight. Maybe. Or some stairs. Sunlight. Oh my. Alright, that effect works. <laughs> oh. Good to be out. In a very strange spot. Where are we? Yeah, indeed. Where are we? Look up. We're under the Colossus. Ah. Impressive craftsmanship. Indeed. Praise be the sun god. We're finally free. Feels good. But where is that maggot traitor Clyde? Indeed. Who cares? I'm just glad to be out of that blasted dungeon. Besides, we have another. We have other traitors to deal with. I mean, I feel like Dairy's jumping a little much on Vorse. Because it's like... I mean, like... <laughs> like, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, why would you refer to yourself as a slave king? It's like you go to some shady organization. You're like, I want to place an assassination on X... And uh, I'm the Slave King, by the way, just just so you know. It's like, what, there? Uh, could you just please sign your name just so, uh, for record keeping? Oh, the Slave King. Like, it's just, you know, even got, like, that's being a bit silly about it. But really, it's like, why would, you know, it's both like, why would you use, like, even if it wasn't that, if you're going to order an assassination, why would you be giving your own name sort of thing? But also, in the reverse, is the fact that it's very, like, it can be very beneficial to literally give someone else's name if you want to screw them. So... It's like, I don't know, it seems a little bit jumping the gun to not give him a huge amount of benefit of the doubt on that one. Um, 
I don't know, like, I feel like there's a lot more to give him the benefit of the doubt over otherwise. Jet obviously did screw us, so don't get, you know, that's, that he did screw us. Um, my benefit of the doubt for him is more along the lines of uh, him not knowing that he was going to be poisoning Gregor leading up to that type of thing. I, I'd like to know a bit more on what the situation was, but, yeah. I suggest we make our way to the ship so we can discuss our matters privately, away from the public. Agreed. Uh, I mean, Jet wants to go to the boat, you know, so I don't know. I don't know, I, I feel like there's, there's there's potential redemption there. Not for Clyde, though. That's for sure. Also, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder how Heinrich's doing. Hopefully he's alright. Uh, yeah. Your curse has now been lifted. Be grateful for the wisdom you have been granted. Oh, yeah, you were the one who was saying that the death and shit, alright. I guess, uh... Oh, man, that's really cool. That's really cool. Ah, that, that's awesome. Very nice, very nice. Ah, that's awesome. Wait, is there no... Is that just a big, like... There's no entrance to go in there, right? Okay. Cool, cool. Hmm, alright. Onwards we go. Gold Mill Docks. Where have you been? Ah, uh, long story, buddy. Apologies, we were ambushed and held captive. Did the Pendem guards make their way to town already? No, it was Clyde. Clyde? Yeah, him and his bastard brother Cyrus, who happens to be a member of the Goldmill City Guard. I had no idea Clyde's brother was a member of the City Guard. He never once mentioned that to me. From the sounds of it, he's not the most legitimate of guards. They also they are also both members of the local thief guild. Oh, so that's a thief guild? Okay. We took care of his brother, but Clyde got away. I see. It sounds like we need to get moving then. Everyone get on board and start your preparations. We'll leave at dawn. Okay, we were just coming for a chat, but... Hmm, okay. It's not safe to leave the ship, with the guards and guild both after you. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Mr. Bolt is down in the cargo hold, preparing for our departure. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, we can go down here. The Mighty Mosquito. On the run again, all because of Jet. Dairy, please. I mean, that's accurate, to be fair. He betrayed us, Keegan. This whole mess is because of him and Vorse. I, I feel less so about Vorse, but... You and your blasted prophecy. And why hire a rogue to do your dirty work, Vorse? Were you too afraid to come into Pentam yourself? You had to hire a lowlife like Jet to do it for me. <laughs> so just tearing Jet in your asshole in general. Okay. <laughs> Please, Dairy, screaming insults at one another won't bring us any closer to a resolution. Oh, I love how their weapons are all on the table. I can only reaffirm that I had nothing to do with your troubles in Pentam. I would also like to point out that Jet was injured far worse than the rest of us. Well, good. Serves him right. I... I was only following orders. Dairy, I've been, you with, on mo I've been with you on multiple cobalt hunts. You survived w far worse injuries. What is truly bothering you? Is it because Jet lied to us? Well, none of us are pleased about what happened, milady. But you do seem to be taking it quite personally. It's just... I saw something. Maybe that's not the best way of wording it. When we were being tortured, I had a dream. Or rather, a nightmare. It was dark and cold. The northern stars were all around me. I felt alone and I couldn't breathe. Then that chronomancer. She looked up at me with lifeless eyes. Suddenly everything was ignited in a burning flame. The heat was so intense. Within the embers I saw... A skeleton. And it stared at me with burning red eyes. It wanted the stone. Oh, Keegan. Oh, okay. I guess that really freaked her out then. Because, I mean, Dairy's Day pretty, like, stoic. I mean... in a, Well, I don't know if that's quite the word I'd use, but... Sort of a, yeah practical no kind of bullshit person to a degree I get I don't know so, something some mix of those things I'm saying well that's a bit of a relief mind your tongue what I mean is I was a bit worried that I was the only one that had that nightmare you had it too yes oh wait Nolan yes Dairy I had it as well I just thought it was nothing more than a bad dream and didn't see the need in mentioning it wait but Nolan too that's uh interesting this is just like the first time Shay came to tell us about the prophecy Except this time it was definitely a dream. So what does this mean? How can we all have had the same nightmare? Was it brought on by something that 
uh, that they drugged us with? I knew that lobster was too good to be true. Perhaps the prophecy is now guiding us through our dreams. Or it's a message from the gods? Doubtful. Oh, dairy, even after something like this, how can you be so skeptical? Maybe it was hypnosis, or a hallucination, or a mind mage. Oh, I don't know. All I know for sure is that it was... Terrifying? Yeah. Oi. There you guys are. Get over here and give me a hand. I can't move all this stuff by myself. I stored some important supplies in one of the treasure chests. It's in the corner over there. Be a doll and see if you can go and grab it for me. Uh, to reset the puzzle pit. Oh, okay. This is a puzzle thing then? Not sure how, but... Um, yeah, so that was a bit... I, I kind of wanted a bit more discussion there. Like, because, yes, Jet lied and stuff, but it, it's, it felt like I needed some serious elaboration. Like, what exactly happened? Like, even if you can't tell us who hired him and, like, beyond sort of certain details... I mean, he said the Slave King thing, but... It feels like, you know, that, that he could have elaborated a bit more. Like, what exactly was he instructed to do? Was he instructed to poison Commander Gregor? Or was he simply instructed to poison a particular drink at a particular time? Like... You know, what, what I, I'd really like to know. Uh, oh, okay, so this is the... But yeah, so that's... Uh, I hope we get some elaboration on it. Like, we're just going to move past it like he lied, but... Because yeah, it was. Like, Dairy was obviously taking it a bit more personal and stuff, and that was brought up, but... I don't know. I, I need a bit more than that, you know? Uh, hopefully we won't just leave it at that, because... Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Let's get these chests. Chronic. Cool. Boom and a boom. Grab you. Uh, what do we got? You can push that one out of the way. You can pop you there. You can do that. You can do that. Uh, that. Uh, will not there. No, down this way. You can do that. Very good. And a boom and a boom. That was unnecessary. Uh. Wait. What? That's not going to work out. Oh, okay. I, was like, I didn't think I could push it there, but that's fine. Did you find it? I think so. Alright, bring it up top. Yeah, I think we definitely need a further discussion on that. Because, yeah, like, I, I can understand him not wanting to tell us immediately afterwards. Like, that was a... And it wouldn't even necessarily have helped, in a sense. Like, they were after us regardless, so... And if we were like, hey, it was, it was Jet's fault. Like, even if we wanted to blame him or something, it was like... Wouldn't have worked out that well, I don't think, but... Yeah, I definitely want to know more about his orders, because he said, like, he didn't know who the poison was for, but... Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Thanks, guys. This is some, some special powder, and if I add it to the cannon... Ugh. What is this? Blood? What did you weirdos do? We didn't do anything, sir. The chest was like that when we found it. Oh, jeez. What is it? Speak up. It appears to be a set of human eyes. They're looking right at me. Friggin' disgusting. Probably Clyde's. What? Good, he deserved it, that traitor scum. Wait, wait, what do you mean? I'm confused. <laughs> Why would it be Clyde's eyes? What? He ran away. That's still pretty awful. Not really. It's part of our own it's part of our justice. Despite what Skyra said, the Thief Guilds do operate on a strict code of rules. Oh, wait, okay. Uh okay, not really. It's part of our justice. Despite what Sarah said, the Thief Guilds do operate on a strict code of rules. So I guess there's different Thief Guilds. But they maybe have a set of rules between them? We don't interfere or hold individuals accountable for the actions of their guild contracts. The retribution for breaking this code is supposed to be twice as potent. If these are Clyde's eyes, then I suppose that adds up. A rather harsh code of justice. Perhaps. It's the only life I've known. We all do what we must to survive. Wait, so... Uh, why did he do that then? So, what did he interfere with? Because... Haven't you ever wanted to leave? Often. My lover Jay is also a member of the Vipers. We talked about running away together. Where is she now? I don't know. I haven't been able to make contact with her since I've been abroad. The Vipers kept telling me that she received my messages, but I haven't got a single reply. I just don't know what's going on. They have been acting very unusual lately. I realize that I've caused a lot of distrust and hurt here. I'm sorry for all of that. I think it's time for me to go. Jet, yeah, that is unnecessary. The prophecy indicated that. Enough, boss. Thank you for everything, but I have to go and find out what happened to Jay. I need answers. 
Jet. Goodbye, my friend. Until we meet again. Okay. This isn't good. What is it? Where's the captain? Is he still in his quarters? I believe so, yes. Why? Captain! What's the meaning of this? We weren't planning on shipping out for another hour or two. I know, Captain. The plan was to avoid the city guard, but... Oh, not good. What are you doing on my ship? My name is Jack... Uh, Jackis? Jackquess? Jackus? Jarkus? Oh, I have no idea how to say that. I'm gonna go Jackies. My name is Jackies. I am the commander of the Goldmill Militia. I need to speak with you and everyone aboard this vessel. What's going on? We are here by order of the Queen herself. Apparently you were involved in a recent murder of one Cyrus of the Goldmill City Guard. We can explain. There is no need. We have already conducted a thorough investigation. You have been found quite innocent of your actions. We realize that you were merely captives of a turncoat member of our City Guard. We knew for so quite some time that one of our high-ranking officers was working with the Rose and Chain terrorists. Terrorists? Oh, okay. But we had no idea it was Cyrus until his body was discovered in their previously hidden hideout. Hidden beneath our very own Golden Colossus. How shameful. On behalf of the city of Goldmill and Queen Ele Elianus Fanoa, our sincerest apologies for the injuries you sustained here. Hey, no hard feelings there, Jackie. Apology accepted. If that is all, then I'd like to get back to dreaming of a lusty mermaids, if you don't mind. That is very much not all. As I explained, the terrorists have been thorn in our side for quite some time. They frighten the citizens, they extort and threaten them for dollars, and worst of all, they inspire hatred for our beloved queen. I'm sure your city guard will be able to take control of the situation now that your spy has been removed. Perhaps, but for months we have fallen short of something you were able to accomplish almost overnight. What are you getting at? We are performing a final attack, our one last strike to wipe out the Rose and Chain forever. And we are requesting that you assist us. This is a bit confusing. Do they not know the Rose and Chain was that? I mean, there was literally an establishment called the Rose and Chain, so... Like, what? I don't know about that. What's in it for us? Many things, I suppose. Respect, honor, a sense of restoring peace and justice to our city. The gratitude of our queen. And most importantly, we shall not immediately, retur immediately return you to the authorities in Pentam. We are the capital of the Western Kingdom, after all. News travels very quickly to us here. Are you threatening us? If it comes to that, yes, but I'd prefer to consider it a very humble request for your martial arts skills. Your martial skills. But after we help, you'll let us go? Most definitely, you have my word, as well as that of Queen Thanoa. When? At first light, make your preparation and we shall escort you to their new hideout, the Lumber Mill. Okay. Come along, men. Soon we shall purge ourselves of the vile Rosen Chain Clan. Yes, sir. For Gold Mill. Alright, we've got the full march going here. Okay. Keegan, what are we doing? For the time being, we are assisting in a local militia operation. Nothing more. And what happens after that? I'm not sure. It does feel ominous, as though we are marching toward our own execution. Any chance we can make a run for it? Doubtful. There is no need to worry. This is just another chapter in our story. Soon it will come to an end, and we can return, our, return to our quest of finding the sacred stones. Uh, about that... I can't find the blue stone. Nani. I had it in my backpack, and I know I had it while we were on board the Mighty Mosquito. Jet. Haha, <laughs> that slippery little worm. There must be another explanation. Things seem to be getting worse for us, and it's not even time breakfast time. That's one thing I was wondering too. So, with Jet leaving, what if we'd chosen Jet as our main character? Would we be now going off just as Jet? Like, I don't know how that works, or if it would play out differently, or... Hmm... And it does seem like then Jet was, yes, he wasn't exactly trying to screw us over necessarily. He was just grouped up with us whilst also following orders. Because to be fair, he only just joined us for the Cobalt hunt and then things went to shit, so... Yeah, I think giving him some benefit of the doubt on that was fine and was okay. Um, I certainly didn't expect him to leave though. Like, are we going to see him again? Is he just screwed us over? Like, like what's... Because, I mean, t if he took the blue stone, although we don't know for sure, but... Hmm... I guess we'll just to see how things play out. I mean, it seems like Nolan's our buddy now, but... Yeah. Anyway, things just seem to be getting worse for us. It's not even breakfast time. I'm pretty hungry. I go for some breakfast, actually. Indeed, indeed. Gold Mill Lumber Mill. Oh, there we go. 
All right, well, I think that's probably going to do it uh, for now. I don't, I don't know if the Lumber Mill is going to be like a big event or what the deal is, but uh, this one's probably nearing two hours long, so I think that's probably good for now. Uh, man, it's a, it's a really long demo, though. I can't imagine there's too much left, although who knows at my pacing, but... Hmm, man, a lot happened there. Eh? Uh, yeah, so, and about the eye thing, I was still, I got a little stuck on that, um, I, I was a bit confused, why did Clyde, like, why did he lose his eyes, I don't, like, what did he interfere with, I feel like I, something's just gone over my head there, was that because, uh, yeah, no, I'm actually, I'm not sure, I feel like something's completely gone over my head there on that part, like, did he do something he shouldn't have in regards to the Rosen Chain Guild, which... Like, is the Rosen... Like, because... So, there's the Viper Guild. And there's a Rosen Chain. But are they then both Thief Guilds? Because, like, the Rosen Chain was referred to as a Thief Guild. But then they also called them Terrorists. So... But, presumably, they are a Thief Guild. And they abide by that code. And that's why he lost his eyes. But I don't understand. Was that because... Uh, like, that, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm missing here. Like, is it because he ran away? Like, when... Or... Because it's about interfering, but I don't understand. Like, because he was just... Was that something to do with... Uh, I don't know. Was that to do with, like, because Jet had a Thief Guild type mission? And I, I don't know. I, I feel like something's gone over my head there on that. It's not like a huge point or something. I just, I, I feel like something, I feel like I've been following it well. That's just sort of gone over my head a little. Uh, let me know if you know on that. I'm, I'm curious. But other than that, I, I'm really, really enjoying it still. Uh... It's just really good. I really like this. Uh, I wish the full game was out. Uh, I'd love to continue playing it through fully, honestly. Like, it's just, uh, it's just really good. I really like it. Oof. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a good two hours, though. I might even continue playing, but in a new episode. Uh, I don't know how late it is. It's probably later than I realize. Oh my, yes. It's, uh, apparently 4 a.m. <laughs> uh, didn't realize it started that late either. Anyway, just uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying. Um, as always, you know, you want to play it yourself. Links will be in the description to check out the demo slash chapter one. And yeah, I uh, don't think there's too much to say on it. Just uh, a lot happened. Lots to sort of uh, sink in. I assume we'll see Jed again at some point. I mean, if he took the blue stone, we'll certainly have to. Uh, hopefully we'll see a Heinrichs doing at some point. Clyde's lost his eyes, so I guess that's fine. Still sort of want to kill the shit out of him. I mean, he really screwed Nolan. Like, I mean, that, like... Yeah. And I guess Nolan's also our buddy now. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if he'll be staying with us. Sort of, I assume so, maybe. Hmm. And I get yeah, I, I have no issue with Voss. Like, Dairy seemed to really jump on that. I don't know, I guess he was sort of... To be fair, like, overly emotional because of having a like, terrifying dream that really, like, shook her sort of thing, so, um, yeah. Hmm. All right, I don't think there's anything else to say other than me just rambling some shit, so, uh, just again, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, I'll see you in the next one soon, which I assume will probably be the last one, um, I'm, I'm gonna assume that, but who knows, so, but yeah, well, uh, after the final one, I still probably will actually do what I said, I'd sort of forgotten about it, but probably go back to the start and just do, like, their, uh, their intro sections for each one, just so we can learn a bit more about them. So I think that'll be fun to do. But yeah, other than that, uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.